Hey folks, guess what? It's time again for another show and tell what the hell. And we got a very special one today, folks. And another exclusive. This is from uh, the Black Friday weekend, but this wasn't on Black Friday sale. However, I did use a Target gift card. It is a Target exclusive. It is, yes, that's right, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, Burning Godzilla. Look at this beautiful baby right here. Oh, I'm so excited to get it. So, uh, let's take a look at the card. Yep, there's a picture of it. I have been looking forward uh, to this particular figure since, um, since I guess uh, it was was a Toy Fair or uh, Comic Con had shown this, and um, I knew it was going to be exclusive. Um, I knew that you're probably going to the only place you'd probably be able to get it would be Target. But th then again, you know Walmart's been putting out some Nika 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 figures, and um, yeah. It's very similar to the other Godzilla that we saw, but uh, in is you know it's exactly like the other Godzilla that I have. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, but it's just a different paint deco. But if there's something I can appreciate with figures like Godzilla, characters like Godzilla are different paint decos. So let me bust this guy out of his cage, and uh, we'll show you what the deal is. And we are back here with our special guest, Burning Godzilla. Yes, how are you doing, sir? Um, and uh, I, for the first time, am going to show you how to assemble a um, Godzilla tail. And um, now what we're going to do, because, you know, it's, it's fairly simple. It shows you in the instructions how to do it. I like that they went with that direction. With They said, you know what, fuck it. You know, it's going to be hard to explain to people so let's just show it on a piece of paper how to do it uh because a lot of people said well the tail was so hard to put in so a lot of toy companies weren't doing that so nika 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 decided that they would include little instructions as to how to do that now people that play with toys <laughs> or collect toys like me uh know how to go about doing this uh especially when you're removing parts so it doesn't take long you just you dip uh, the the part that needs to be um plugged in the softer part i guess because this ball's a little hard here sounds weird but the ball that goes into the socket is the harder plastic and you go you insert that into the softer plastic so give it a moment you can kind of feel around if the plastic surrounding it's getting a little i don't know a little, a little tiny bit mushy it gives it a little bit of a pliability then you know it's ready so here we go and we got it in there Perfect. It wasn't able to do that before. And uh, now we're able to... Yeah, and there you go. It's in there. So we're done with this. Let's put this somewhere safely. I'm going to become the Alton Brown of toy collecting. Uh, there you go. Now I can make some ramen. So we could talk about this Godzilla now that his uh, tail is assembled. And uh, let's talk about the bad parts of this figure. Uh, there's not a whole bunch of bad parts. It's a little sloppy on the paint job over here. A little um, a little off on color right there, but that's not an issue to me. What I like about this figure is that it's fucking badass. <laughs> it's just, it's a Burning Godzilla figure. I've been wanting something like this for a while. I like Burning Godzilla. Uh, I, liked, I liked him in the new movie. Now, it's not like a separate character. It's just a situation that Godzilla will get himself into. Um... Hold on, let me fix that. I do like the amount of uh, detail. Like, it's completely different from the other uh, paint job in that the direction that they went with the, with the paint. Uh, they did some dry brushing over the scales so that you could see a lot more uh, on the outside. And it makes it seem like the paint on the inside is, uh, you know, it looks like, you know, you could just see it a lot more now with that as compared to this, which you get that contrast of, light to dark uh this i would have gone with a little bit lighter tiny bit lighter uh just to bring out some more of the details on this so you can see it really well on the dorsal fins um over here i think i would have gone a lighter it's a little bit different they got a little sloppy up here which is okay i mean i'm not asking for a perfect paint job the cool thing about this figure is that i did put it under some light and um it appears that all the plastic on this figure is indeed translucent red. 
So if I picked up another one of these guys here, let's say if there's another sale or whatever, I'm definitely going to want to strip the paint and uh, get a completely uh, articulated clear red uh, Godzilla Legendary King of the Monsters Burning Godzilla. It doesn't say Burning Godzilla on the package. I think it's just another uh, nickname us fans have given to this along with the original Burning Godzilla uh, but both were in different circumstances. Yeah, so but I like it. I liked this variant. One thing, like again, one thing that uh, one character that deserves all sorts of paint variations is Godzilla. I like all the different incarnations of him and I like that um, that, I don't know, it's just like, you know, from the bootlegs to um, some of the, the Sofubi and all the other uh, types of original Godzilla toys that came out. Uh, he's always been some different kind of color. Even the Imperial was green and he had like what I called red lipstick. Uh, but I always like this color scheme. It reminds me of that cool, awesome Trend Masters Godzilla um, that also had the, the, the yellow orange on the top, on the dorsal fins. He also had a yellow belly, but this one doesn't. It's all right. This is reflecting the part of the movie. I, if you haven't seen King of the Monsters, I don't want to spoil anything, but if you haven't seen it, go watch it. What's wrong with you? Uh, but... Um, they showed some of this on the preview anyway, so I'm not really spoiling too much. Uh, but it just looks so awesome. It just looks so awesome like this. Let me bring out um, the other, um, the more familiar Burning Godzilla. I'm about to explode Godzilla. So again, this is also made out of a translucent plastic in certain areas here. Uh, not all area, not all of it is translucent plastic. I don't think so. Um, the fins and someone I had raised a question as to why not all the fins like I know that some of the fins were not all irradiated but I think just to clarify I think it would have been cooler had this been done in translucent plastic as, as well the fins at least and painted over um, so you get a slight hint just like right here this is the effect I was kind of hoping to get uh, on the rest of these dorsal areas there uh, but that's just me. Um, I would have asked for a lot more if I wanted a perfect, perfect Godzilla. But uh, this is nice, man. I really want this. I was tempted to get the blue one. Uh, the one where, like, the movie poster, blue, but it's just a little too plain to me. I still haven't gotten the GMK version. Um, I like that uh, Nick is not only just putting out the uh, Nika Nika Nika. Is not only putting out the... Um, the re-releases of Godzilla, they're also giving us new products like this because this has not been previously released and we're just, it's barely hitting target right now. So, um, now like, like this right here, if I'm looking at it at this angle, it looks like it's, it's got, this is actually painted darker red here, lighter right there, lighter right there. But if you look at it at this angle, it definitely looks like shading. So I don't know if that was intentional or what. You do get like this little wave right here, like a vein of sorts. Uh, but this just looks so freaking badass. I wish I could find a light source that I could show you more of the uh, illumination. Here, let me just move this closer. And uh, just look at that. You could tell here. Hope this helps. And I hope this doesn't bother your eyes too much. But look how much translucent plastic that is. Isn't that fucking great? Jesus Christ. I just get so rock hard. <laughs> I get so excited with translucent figures. Always have, ever since I got Fisher-Price and Tron figures back in the days. I've always liked clear plastic. It's just something so futuristic and spacey about it. And look at that. There you go. Another good view. Oh... This is awesome. I kind of want to have some sort of light source on display for this. Hey, look at his hands. Come on, come on. Come on, give me a guy. It won't hurt you. Don't worry. Come on. Hey. <laughs> yeah. I have fun with my toys because I'm a big man child. But yeah, I really, I can't recommend this. Higher. It goes for about like 25 bucks, something like that. 30 bucks, maybe. Uh, you can get yourself some, you know, you could always go uh, get yourself some Target uh, gift cards. I recommend getting the red card where you get like a, um, you can get a red debit card and they're like, 
you get like 5% off every purchase. I used a, a gift card that someone had uh, had gotten from a sale. So pay attention to those sales. They may give you extra things, get coupons, um, especially with something. Because I hate blowing like anything more than $20 uh, or $25. Anything more than that, I always get a little bit of a toy regret. But not with this one, I especially since I had a coupon. So I think it came out to like 24, 25. So it was about 30. Um, it's weird how they price some of these Godzilla figures. Sometimes they're a little bit more expensive than the others. Uh, sometimes I find them for 20. Sometimes I find them for 30. Um, hard to tell with Nika Nika Nika. Uh, but just a great figure overall. I'm very happy to get it. Um, I don't know if, if there's any other uh, Godzillas from the line uh, that blue one. I don't think he utilized any of the translucent plastic aside from the breath. And no, he does not come with a breath. Um... But I have plenty of Godzilla breath from other figures that I could just throw in there. Uh, again, his jaw does move. There is some nice detail inside the mouth where there is some um, this nice, nice, uh, uh, you know, sunny delight colored orange in there. The eyes are just a pale white. And I like Godzilla with the pale white eyes, like much like the GMK. But look at this uh, compared to this. This looks a little bit sillier. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm so happy to see you. Uh, but I don't know, as far as a paint job goes still, I'd like to get one that's completely all translucent, uh, a crystal red blood Godzilla, if you will. But, uh, at the same time, when you have all these extra little details that really brings out everything, brings out the sculpt. And, uh, I'm, again, I'm really happy with this. Very excited. Uh, happy to show you all. Uh, let me know if you have any more questions about this Godzilla. Just, um, uh, tune in for more. I got a bonus one coming up soon. Take care, folks. And until uh, next time, we will see you later on.